Yeah, they're tight. Great. So now we've got a warrant. How do we go about serving it? Let's ask them. Hey, you know, they work great together. Who? Who? I know I'm talking. I hear my voice. Castillo and your wife, that's who. Uh, yeah, of course they work great together. I mean, we all do. Frank, we've only known each other since we were able to walk. Oh, sorry for commenting on the obvious. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the obvious doesn't need to be pointed out, huh? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit a nerve or anything. Hey, Jody's the best, right? I mean, you can understand why Castillo would want her on the Santa Barbara PD, right? Well, he didn't exactly have to twist her arm. I mean, she was pretty anxious to get here. Yeah. <laughs> I bet. Just think about it, huh? Uh, Mrs. Beckwith was just, um, just telling us about a, a cabin that Micah used to, used to own. He used to take Mariah and Abby there. I've been racking my brain, but I can't remember where it was. Well, that's okay. We'll just do a title search. Yeah, I'm gonna go down to records and, uh, see what's up. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Mrs. Beckwith, let me ask you a question. How did, uh, Aurora react when she found out that her father was back? Was she happy? Frightened? Well, how do you think? She was terrified. And then that boy came. Miss Beckwith, may I remind you that keeping a young girl locked away from the world for years it, does not prevent her emotional development. I'm, is it so surprising that a, a beautiful, normal teenager would want to spend time with a boy who really seems to care about her? Excuse me. You are the police, aren't you? Yeah, last time we checked. I am here telling you that my granddaughter has been abducted and you are defending the boy who took her. Whose side are you on? This boy you keep referring to just happens to be our son. And there's no way he would have kidnapped her. 